Hi everyone, John Jackson here and one mod video and today I'm going to talk about VirtualBox. It has extremely and functional tool inside VirtualBox called Remote Desktop or Remote Screen and it provides a way to connect your local machine on your local network and other computer. Uh, for example, you have a you have a, a computer running uh, some virtual machine and another computer connect on your computer remotely for uh, manager that virtual machine. VirtualBox has a, a protocol called VRDP, VirtualBox Remote Display Protocol. It's very similar to Microsoft's uh, RDP and you can use the any uh, client for connecting on this like uh, our desktop um, KRDC on KDE and so whatever and on this video we're gonna try the Microsoft remote desktop client so this video is sponsored by my complete VirtualBox online course um, available on udem.com and it teaches uh, how to use VirtualBox from complete scratch to hero and the link for this course is in the first link on the description below so let's go to our main topic today um, I have here on my web browser uh, the docs.oracle.com and here we have a complete documentation about this theme uh, remote display VRDP support and here we have a complete description and complete documentation about this and we have here to uh, virtualbox.org and you have here a uh, large documentation to about this subject uh, first of all you need to have a extension package installed on your um, on your VirtualBox installation for this let's go to virtualbox.org and here click on downloads here and here we have a VirtualBox extension pack you gotta you gotta this one install it on your computer for the remote desktop working good so let's go to VirtualBox manager here we have a virtual machine with uh, Windows XP installed yeah yeah I have Windows XP and 2020 <laughs> so for enable this too uh, you're gonna go to settings here and here let's do display remote display for the full this this tool is uh, disabled but you only need check this box and here uh, we gotta uh, set the server port you gotta leave a unique server port for each virtual machine this time I'm gonna set this one for 5555 an authentication method uh, new and ok just click on ok and start your VM so 
so while this one starts I'm gonna go to remote desktop connection client and I'm gonna open my terminal and type here IP config to see my uh, host IP and as you can see here I'm gonna I'm gonna copy this one and paste here colon five 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 so here we have my little machine charged but I only minimize this one and here click on connect uh, here click on yes and data I have here I have here my Windows XP connected on my remote desktop client and I can here uh, manager through the network my remote virtual machine so it's a uh, completely installed virtual machine but I can use it for um, uh, I'm gonna close and power off this machine and I'm gonna show you the second example so I have here a not solid virtual machine and I'm gonna show you how to install from scratch uh, remotely uh, first of all let's go to settings uh, display remote display and here I'm gonna set the server port to 666 and OK and this time I'm gonna start with headless mode and here I'm gonna change this part for comma six 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 connect yes and here I'm gonna change it for Ubuntu so as you can see it works for installed systems so I'm gonna wait a little bit the loading so I'm gonna click on try Ubuntu as you can see here the Ubuntu desktop are working good and completely remote so that's it for today don't forget to leave your like and subscribe to the channel and see you at the next time bye